Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today we will learn about 15 major signs someone is completely evil. Now let's begin. Number 1. High Tolerance for Evil To distinguish between a good person and an evil person, pay attention to how much evil they can tolerate in their lives. Even if they haven't done anything terrible, an evil person may take pleasure in watching evil unfold in the world around them. In other words, they don't directly cause bad things, but they are exceptionally tolerant of words and actions that good people find morally repulsive. Let's say you see a person physically hurting someone weaker and smaller than them. For good people, this usually triggers an adverse emotional reaction, like fear, anger, or sadness. But someone with a high tolerance for evil may find it funny or even justified. If you know someone who sees terrible things happen and doesn't feel a sense of outrage, they may be a genuinely evil person under the surface. Number 2. Careless Superiority Evil people feel a sense of superiority over everyone they meet. They're constantly putting people down and asserting their own needs because they genuinely believe that no one is as important as they are. We see this kind of behavior almost every day. In traffic, you see people cutting to the front of the line, blatantly disregarding the time of the people waiting behind them. You also see it in the workplace when arrogant supervisors bully their subordinates and take advantage of their rank and power. One careless act doesn't make someone evil, but it does suggest low levels of empathy and compassion. If you know someone who looks down on the rest of the world, they may be heading down a dark path. Number 3. Animal Cruelty Historically, evil people are likely to commit acts of cruelty toward animals. This behavior is especially common among violent and psychopathic personalities who feel no remorse for their actions. They get some thrill or satisfaction in teasing and injuring defenseless creatures because it makes them feel powerful and superior. Many evil people mistreat the animals in their lives. On the other hand, good people feel a connection to living creatures. It's built into our psychology to care when another animal gets hurt. If someone gets pleasure from hurting living creatures, that is a telltale sign this person is completely evil. Number 4. Arguing with reality Evil people refuse to accept when things don't go their way. They get upset when life doesn't work in their favor. In fact, they spend more time arguing with reality than accepting the consequences of their actions. Some evil people blatantly deny the truth, even when it is staring them in the face. They don't care what's factual and what's not. All they care about is what benefits themselves, no matter how illogical their argument may be. Number 5. The Split Personality do you know someone with two completely different personalities? Evil people are known to alter their character traits to gain social and professional advantages. Around a person of power, for example, they act kind and generous. They put others' needs first and pretend to be a model human being. But when that person leaves the room, their personality changes in the blink of an eye. Suddenly, they are careless and selfish and have no problem being cruel to the people around them. If you've seen both sides of their personality, you may wonder how one person can be so inconsistent. But the truth is, they're not just inconsistent, they're completely evil. Number 6. Sincere Dishonesty Everyone lies once in a while. When it happens, we usually feel a sense of guilt. We wish we had said something differently or thought more proactively about the consequences of our actions. But an evil person lies with reckless abandon. They don't feel any remorse for the lies they tell. In fact, they lie with such emotion and sincerity that other people have trouble differentiating fact from fiction. In some cases, their dishonesty has the power to move and persuade people to follow in their footsteps. And that's what makes their dishonest personalities dangerous and completely evil. Number 7. Twisting the Facts Evil people aren't satisfied with just bending the truth. When they lie, they take dishonesty to new heights, going so far as to twist the facts in their favor and put words into other people's mouths. Some toxic personalities even tell elaborate stories that never happened, often to make someone else look bad. 
If you know someone who frequently twists the facts, be careful. They were willing to distort the truth once, so there's a good chance they'll do it again. Number 8. Reveling in Misfortune How do you feel when someone you know has a stroke of bad luck? Let's say a close friend of yours gets fired from their job. Do you feel sympathy for them and show them compassion in their time of hardship? Or do you revel in their misfortune, gaining a sense of pleasure by watching them struggle? The latter is a major sign of a completely evil person. They enjoy watching other people experience misfortune. It probably makes them feel successful and superior by comparison. Of course, they'll never say it out loud. To your face, they say that they want to see you succeed, but behind your back, they're hoping to see you fail, even if they never say it out loud. Anyone who revels in misfortune is much more dangerous than you think. Number 9. Zero Moral Compass We know that evil people feel no remorse, yet most people underestimate the lengths an evil person will go to defend their own interests. For example, when an evil person makes a mistake, it's common for them to avoid all responsibility and dump their problems on the people around them. Even though everyone knows it's their fault, they pretend they had nothing to do with it. They pass the blame, make up stories, and deny reality if only to preserve their reputation. Whenever possible, an evil person happily and emphatically passes the blame onto others. They allow innocent people to bear the burden of their failures because they have no shame, no guilt, and absolutely no moral compass. Number 10. Stacking the deck Truly terrible people use every piece of information like a bargaining chip. While most of us want our lives to be orderly and fair, these individuals are stacking the deck in their favor. For example, when an evil person hears a valuable piece of information, they will not tell you right away. Instead, they'll sit on this knowledge until the moment it is useful for them. Then and only then will they break the news and attempt to do as much damage as they can. Number 11. The Limits of Personal Gain Do you know someone who's always thinking in terms of personal gain? There's nothing inherently evil about a competitive, self-interested person. In many ways, we're all fighting to earn the things we want in our lives, but there's usually a limit to how far people will go to improve their well-being. On the other hand, for an evil person, nothing is off the table. They will ruin relationships, betray friends, and put other people at risk if it means improving their own situation. To an evil person, personal gain is priority number one, so don't be surprised when your needs fall by the wayside. Number 12. Strategic Manipulation Toxic, unempathetic people think it's their right to manipulate the people around them. If you know someone who is completely evil, they may go to great lengths to exert control over you and everyone else in your life. They refuse to let anyone make decisions on their own, and when they do, evil people immediately make you feel like you've done something wrong. In the same way, evil people shamelessly manipulate their friends, family, and co-workers. They'll say whatever they need to climb the social ranks and gain some advantage over you. Even if it ruins your life, a thoroughly evil person doesn't think twice about taking control. Number 13. Truly Evil Intentions Not every evil person actively brings evil into the world. Some evil people follow the rules and behave like good people even though their minds are swirling with bad intentions. They hope for the worst in the world, and they feel a sense of pleasure when life lives up to their poor expectations. In other words, they may not do evil deeds, but they still think evil thoughts. Why? Because these people are rotten to their core. Number 14. Psychological Entitlement Evil people may believe they deserve more than everyone else, they are convinced they are better than everyone in the world, and as a result, they deserve special treatment. For example, let's say you ask your friend for a favor, and they waste no time shutting you down. The next day, they ask you for a favor, and when you say no, they become angry with you and insist that you are somehow indebted to them. This behavior is evidence of extreme psychological entitlement, possessed by some of the most narcissistic personalities. To these selfish people, no one deserves nearly as much as they do. 
That's what makes these lousy individuals toxic, dangerous, and downright evil. Number 15. That strange feeling. Sometimes, evil is more of a feeling than a specific behavior. When you come across a bad person, you may sense it in your gut, like a bad feeling you just can't explain. Whenever you interact with this person, you can't shake the feeling that they are hiding something. Maybe you're suspicious of their intentions, or perhaps you've picked up on some manipulative behaviors. Either way, this person makes you feel strange, cautious, and nervous for a reason. Their evil tendencies may be subtle and well-hidden, but if you consistently get a bad feeling around someone, they are probably more evil than you realize. Thank you for watching TopThink and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.